Idiot cops often bend and break the laws and assume they can get away with anything, but what happens when these cops are caught red-handed on camera? You need to learn the law. So right now, I do I'm know the law. Be quiet. I do Shut your mouth. Whoa, you are messing up. Oh, I'm gonna show you. This is Mr. Tullis, who runs a YouTube channel by the name of Truth Be Told Audits. On October 7th, 2023, Mr. Tullos was on his way when he was stopped by DeBoard of Denham Springs Police Department for a veering in his lane. Little did the officer know who he was running into. Hey, sir, you do me a favor, step to the front of my uniform. Do you a favor, stand in front of my unit, please? Uh, I can stand where I want. You can tell me what you pulled me over for. Okay, so for my safety, I want you to stay in front of my unit. And for auditor safety, I would like for you to tell me why you stopped me. So Who will, are you? I, I will in just Who a second. Hey, man, stand in front of my unit. I can stand where I want, dude. Not what on my traffic problem? stop. Not on my traffic stop. What do you want? What did you pull me over for? Do me for? a favor, you can put the cell phone down. No, I can hold my cell phone. When it interferes with a... a it's fit? not interfering. Recording. It is. Turner it versus is. Driver says it is not interfering. Louisiana, Texas, and Mississippi, as Turner versus Driver, have every right to film y'all. What did you pull me over for? So the reason why I stopped, I noticed you were veering back and forth. Oh, don't give me that. It's all on dash cam. So do you want don't me to give me that. It's all do you on want dash me cam. to tell you, or are you going to let me explain, or are you going to keep bumping your guns? I'm going to keep bumping my guns because I have every right. Got your to ID on you? What do I need to get my ID for? What law did I break? Improper, what law did I break? Improper lanes. In proper lanes, I was in my lane. I got dash cam to prove it. I never broke line either side. You don't have to break line. What do you mean I don't have to break line? I didn't. Statue do, I didn't says do veering back and forth. It's improper veering lane. Back, I was not veering back and forth. This ain't the courtroom. May I see your driver's license, this is, this is not the courtroom? Nope. This May is I not the courtroom. So, 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 so you're pulling me over saying that what? I'm May drunk? I see your driver's license? You're saying that I'm drunk? I'm not. Are you okay. having a medical episode? Are you distracted? Are you tired? Have you been driving for a long time? I don't answer questions. How about that? Take a look at your driver's license, please. Okay. Who are you, Denim Strings? Who are you, Denim Strings? What's your name and badge number? I told you my name is Officer DeBoard, Denim Springs Police Department. Okay, and you're going to be one of the slow ones that just messed up. Now, what else do you want? This is harassment. Y'all are harassing me because of who I am. I don't know who you are. Well, I'm telling you, I am your worst nightmare at this point. What? I'm going to tell you something. I don't care what you got to say. If you say that again, I'm oh, going to take that as a It's called freedom of speech. I learn, will, see, I will you take better that, learn the law. I will learn take law, that as a law. threat and act what? according. How, how is it threat? I'm telling you. Mr. Tullos insists that he was in his lane, while Officer DeBoard argues that he was swerving within his lane. For viewers who don't know, Swerving or veering is not illegal as long as the driver is not interrupting traffic or changing lanes. Mr. Tullos appears well informed on this matter and decides not to be harassed by the officer. You know, I was just going to let you off with a warrant, but now I'm going to write you a ticket. For what? Improper lane usage. I didn't change lanes. Veering back and forth. I did not break line. You're going to get Write a me a ticket. Write me the ticket. Go ahead. Go write me the ticket. Go on. It's going right there. Actually, got any weapons on you? Turn around and face I don't answer questions. And this is going to be an illegal search. Turn around and face my unit. At this point, the situation has escalated. Even if the citizen was driving wrong, which he was not, this does not give the officer any right to pat him down. This is an unlawful search and seizure of a citizen's property and violates his First Amendment rights. Really? Uh, Put your know. hands on top of you and then your fingers. I am recording you. Oh, so, okay, you see this people? You see this people? You see this people? Now, stretch feet. Now it's an all for safety thing. You need to learn the law. So right now, I do I'm know the law. be quiet. I do Shut your mouth. Whoa, you are messing up. Oh, I'm gonna show you. Mm -hmm. So I can conduct a lawful pat frisk for weapons yes, for it's officer called, safety. It's called Terry versus and Ohio. I gave you three lawful commands and you set that. You got one time. I got one time. Yep, and you just messed up. Oh, y'all hearing this, people? I'm not interested in weapons. I don't have to answer your questions. Do you? I'm not asking you no questions. You asked me if I have any the right to remain silent. Use it. Be quiet. I don't have the right to remain silent. It's mm -hmm. called the Fifth Amendment. As the officer walks toward the citizen's truck, he sees the dash cam. Now, the flimsy grounds he had so meticulously set up to illegally detain the driver are in jeopardy. His attitude is extremely unprofessional, and he is behaving like an edgy high school bully and not a sworn police officer.
You threatening me again? You, you, uh, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a written. Hey, got the written up. <laughs> you you don't even know. Up. You're gonna get written up. Ooh. You're gonna get a complaint form. Good. It's gonna go on your jacket. Come on with it. It's gonna get. Oh, I guarantee it's gonna. Yep. Both officers huddle at the back to discuss what should be done next. The other officer, Officer Sanjay with Walker Police Department, tells Officer DeBoard that he has previously dealt with the citizen as he is a famous First Amendment auditor but never had any trouble with him. Put the phone down. Uh, we're gonna my ticket for, I guess, driving straight. Uh, don't retaliate. Is this one law? Yeah. Yeah. I know law better than you do. It's up to you if you want to write a ticket. Have you all dealt with him before? I dealt a couple times, see me. But I don't, I don't really, he don't really cause any problems. Him and Payne get into it a lot. They really don't like uh, Walker PD that much. Well, it's retaliation people right here. It's up to you if you want to write a ticket. Well, so I dealt with, with the cell phone thing when it interferes with the investigation. <laughs> It just in general, he's still allowed to record. Can't tell it all. Well, but within a certain distance of a law enforcement officer, they haven't proved that yet. They, they're trying to get that approved. For our viewers who don't know, a bill was presented in the state assembly that would have made it illegal to film within 25 feet distance of a police officer. This bill was vetoed and never came into effect. Officer DeBoard gets into his car and starts to read up about the said law as the other officer tries to cool him down. I'm trying. I'm trying. I wasn't going to write him a ticket. I wasn't going to write him a ticket. Being law for a person who's either principal accessory, crime, detain. Let's see. Also, people knew for sure that he was there. That's not the dumb question. So, I noticed he got in trouble. But they do have dash cameras. Well, I know. So, I noticed he he veered to the the center lane to travel right before. He crossed over the uh, the intersection, but after that, he didn't appear. See, I dealt with this in Point Capi, and <clears throat> when when they doing when all when all that's going on, when it interferes with a law enforcement investigation, take the phone, turn it off. been written up or tried to been sued before. It's been doing this 12 years, man. Not the first time that it's happened. But you... All they have to tweak on is dollar back and don't feed it to the guess he wants. That's what the views will get, that's what the camera wants. I just don't want him to keep walking towards my unit. Because for me that's an officer safety yeah. thing. And I can articulate that all day in court and he won't beat that. Well if if I don't write him a ticket then I don't like, ride him not, in a ticket. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's up to you. You, take, you got officer depression all day, every day. But he is one of the most it just, it's either way it's going to go. You just have to not let it get to you, nor. Uh, my main concern is officer safety right hey, now. I'll tell you on that. But <clears throat> well, I didn't have to tell him three times. It's up to you if you want to ride him, but it is what it is. <sighs> well, am I going to deal with any backlash if I don't? That, uh, no, nah, off the discretion, is it? Oh, so here's the thing. <clears throat> so I don't have a dash cam. And now, is it going to show him veering? Probably not. The way his dash cam is positioned, because I see it right here, mm -hmm. it's not going to show him veering. It's not going to show. Yeah. Now, when Officer DeBoard knows for a fact that his entire veering within the lane story won't go too far, he makes all this into an officer safety thing. But the citizen never posed a threat and never had any hostile mannerism against the officer. Sergeant Payne would probably put him up to it. I would imagine Sergeant Payne probably put him up to it. Sergeant Payne would probably put him up to it. Sergeant Payne would probably put him up to it. 
Don't get your knife till you fall off. I'm going to cut you a break tonight. Okay? Give me a break tonight. Cut you a break. Oh, Can I give the driver's license yeah. back? Yeah, my license. Yeah. Hold on. Miss, how do you pronounce your last name? I don't answer questions. How do you pronounce your last I don't name? Yeah. Tulos? It's Greek. I can give you that much. Well, I just want to be respectful. Tulos? Respectful? You pulled me over for no reason just now. I don't pull people over for no reason. Oh. So, next time we have this conversation, it'll be some paper. Be some, next time we have this conversation, you're free to go. <laughs> At last, Officer DeBoard had to let the citizen go without any citation or ticket. Such egoistic, poorly trained officers are the reason behind the ill repute of the police force all over the country. So nothing to drink at all? No, sir. So if you blow in a portable breath test, it'd be triple. I gross. refuse all that. You can call your sergeant if you want to. This is Justin Shields, an officer with the Cincinnati Police Department. Officer Shields was pulled over around 1 a.m. on April 14th in Claremont County for speeding by Ohio State Highway Patrol troopers. The troopers believed that Shields had been drinking upon meeting him, and little did Shields know that he wouldn't get an easy out just because he was an officer. Hello. How are you? Got you stopped your speed. My bad, bro. I appreciate it. Cincinnati. Okay, okay. Anything to drink tonight? Nope. Mind if I check your eyes out? Yes, sir. All right, bring your head out here just a little bit. Okay. Follow tip my finger with your eyes only. Don't ever yep. Man, how much you had to drink? Literally nothing. I took my friend home. All right, I'm gonna get you out and make sure you're okay to drive. Okay. Step on out. You know, your tags are expired as well. I, I know that already. I work for Cincinnati. You work for Cincinnati and you got expired you got me, I, tags? I showed you my badge. I know, but I'm saying you work for Cincinnati and you drive around with expired tags. How long you work for? About a year and a half. I, grad, I, I started when I graduated college. All right, I'll have you walk to the passenger side of my vehicle. You said walk to the pack? Yes, sir. Just, what do you want me to start? Just walk back there. Just walk. Normal. Just walk. Yeah, normal. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know if you were doing the if you're doing the, the the step test or whatever. No, I'm gonna do HGN first. And we'll go from there. Stand by my front tire there. Up to this point, Officer Shields has already mentioned multiple times that he works for the Cincinnati Police Department, clearly hoping to be let off easy. The trooper proceeds with the traffic stop and is actually shocked that Shields is an officer but is still driving with expired tags. Where do you live at? You said what? Where do you live at? I'm literally going home. I drop my friend off. Okay. We're at my friend's house. Okay. Cool. All right, just stand right here. Okay. Face out towards me. The trooper goes ahead with the HGN, a horizontal gaze nystagmus test, which is generally the first field sobriety test that officers take. He feels that Officer Shields is intoxicated and wishes to do more tests to confirm it. So nothing to drink at all? No, sir. So if you blow in a portable breath test, it'd be triple I gross. refuse all that. You can call your sergeant if you want to. I don't need to call my sergeant. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm sergeant? just saying. But like, I had, literally have had nothing to drink. Nothing to drink, then it nothing. would be triple zeros, nothing. right? You mean you both know how it goes. I know how it goes. Yeah, me too. And you've been drinking. I have not. You have. I can still smell it on you as you're talking. You cannot day. smell anything on me. I can smell, I can it smell gum because I've had gum. No, I can smell it strong over an alcohol beverage. You cannot. I can. Okay. Why would I make it up? Why would I pull you out of the car? I, I have no idea. I was speeding. Yes, if you want to earn me a speeding ticket and a uh, ticket for my life, for my registration being expired, fine. That's fine. Okay. But you're not willing to pull in a portable breath test? No, sir. Now I'm going to put you through some more tests. I refuse. You refuse? Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands what, the back. What, what test? Turn what? around. I will, I will do the test. You want to do the test now? I will do the test. I really just want to meet. Why, why are you trying to re You know how this goes. I man. know how it goes. That's, that's that's why I'm asking you why you're doing this. Like, I want to get Because I smell alcohol. alcohol. I'm, doing, I'm doing my job. Okay, I will do it. Officer Shields initially refuses the breathalyzer test and any further sobriety tests, claiming that he's had no drinks that night. But after figuring out that he can't easily get out of this with a speeding ticket, he agrees to the other field sobriety tests. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Are you serious right Yes, now? sir. You're under arrest for operating vehicle impaired. Put your palms together. Bring your arms back. Do you need another set? What'd you say? Do you need two sets on? No, I don't. You don't? I don't. Take your watch off and put it in your pocket for me. This is a Rolex. All right, put it in your pocket. I don't want any possession of your Rolex. Pulse together. So it's your girlfriend? Yeah. She been drinking too? No. Just you? Yep. All right. Well, I haven't been drinking, but my, friend, my friend's been drinking. I can confuse the question. 
Officer Shields can be clearly seen taking the law lightly just because he's an officer with the CPD. Not only was he speeding in a car with expired tags, he was driving under the influence and was repeatedly trying to get away easy. He brings up that he's with the Cincinnati Police Department and that he knows how things work multiple times in hopes to wind up the stop and just get away. Unfortunately for him, the state trooper sticks to procedure and after the test charges him with OVI. Officer Shields even accidentally admits that he's been drinking as he's being arrested, but then tries to cover it up. Is he breathing? These are Corporal Dominguez and Officer Vasquez. On the evening of August 10th, 2016, 32 year old schizophrenia patient Tony Timpa was out on the roads of Dallas. He entered an adult toy store, got out, and started running in the traffic. Concerned for his safety, the store guards handcuffed him and called 911. Shortly before going down, Tony himself called 911 and asked for help, saying he did not take his medication and was having a lot of anxiety. Soon, several police officers got there to find a handcuffed Tony squirming on the ground. Help me. Hey, what's up? Hey, look, Tony. Look at me, bro. Hey, Tony. Chill out, man. Give me, go. Give me. Please give me. Just take me down. Don't no, you're fine. Don't hurt me. We're not going to hurt you, bro. We're not going to hurt you, bro. Hey, relax, man. No. Get you some help, Tony. Relax, man. Just stay down. Hey, Tony. 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 Stop it. Oh, no, please. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Please. We're not going to hurt you, okay? You need to relax. Look. Okay? What did you take today? Uh, what did you take? I got a good feel. Hey, 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 what did you take? Help me! Hey, what did you take? Help me! Tony, Tony, what did you take today? What did you take? Hey, uh, help me! Help me! Well, he was trying to get on the bus. I was trying to stop him. Officers pin Tony to the ground and start searching his pockets for identification, and this is when they find that his full name is Tony Timpa. Meanwhile, the security guard explains to the officers what's been going on. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, 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 That's all we got. Help me! No! No! Help me! Don't do it! Don't do it! I'm down! I'm down! I'm down! Please, don't do it! Please, don't do it. You're all right. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Don't jump Yeah, don't don't jump back. You got paramedic behind you. Okay. You want to twist your body out for right? No, that's good. I'm just worried about him. I can't laugh. I can't. Help. I can't help. Oh, you're okay. You're gonna be all right. Tony, relax. Tony, relax. Tony, relax. You don't need to be squirming, man. Stop. We're trying to get you help, man. Stop. All right? Man. Okay, sir. Stop, stop. Stop, please let me see the Please, please. That is too cautious on this one. Hey, what's up? Uh, this might have come out of his pocket. What the hell is that? Yeah. Tony Tempo said. He finally said. Y'all clubbing rock balls. Okay. Please let me go, please. Hey, Tony. Please let me go. Out, man. Just <laughs> okay. I'm in. Fuck yeah. The police officers change handcuffs that the security guards had put on him and tie his legs together with a zip tie. I got zip cuffs in my in the, in the, trunk, in the trunk of the that bit behind the, this dodge, black dodge. There's zip, there's zip cuffs in the back trunk. Help me! Help me! Help me! Yeah, thank you. Hey, I'm gonna try to change cuffs. Okay. That way we don't have to worry about it once he's up. Yeah. Oh, oh.
Tony keeps struggling and begging the officers to get off of his back, but the officers turn a deaf ear to his screaming and pleading. With Officer Dillard pinning Tony under his knee, Tony's voice finally starts crumbling. It seems as if he is giving up. Tony. <coughs> Tony. <coughs> What'd you take today? <coughs> What'd you take? <coughs> I'm done like this because they had him sitting down. He's like rolling, rolling. I was like, oh, this is not schizophrenia. He, 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 he took something. Hey, Tony, what'd you take? Yeah, he's, he took something. So what's the plan? You're the HMFIC out here, sir. Well, they can ride both. Like they can both ride in the back. I'll drive the ambulance. <laughs> At this point, Tony's body has gone limp and he is unconscious. But it is appalling how the officers continue to joke about Tony. The officers ridicule Tony and mockingly ask him to get up for school. I highly doubt it. He's a kicker, man. Oh, hell yeah. He's kicked me a couple of times. Yeah, that's why I decided to uh, No, nah. I'm gonna lay it down. You're gonna kill me. He's already trying to kick me. You know, shit. No, just trying to kick me. He was scrumming a little Tony, you still with us? You alright, bud? You're gonna be alright. Is he acknowledging you? Moving. Oh, I thought you nodded. Yes, to your question. Tony. 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 He's breathing. Tony. Let's make sure you're still breathing. Yeah. Because his nose is buried in there. I think he's just. Yeah, he's still breathing. He just snorted. <laughs> Tony. What the fuck? Is he asleep? <laughs> he's asleep. <laughs> he's snoring. That's what it was. Yeah, he's asleep. Wow. <laughs> Shit, if I was squirming that much, I'd be sleeping too. Finally, the paramedics and the officers decide that it is time to get Tony on the stretcher and get him some first aid. But it was too late. I think we can get him on the stretcher. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hey, turn, my other turn him over. Let's turn him this way. All right. Three, go. Jesus Christ. 
Hey, don't fall off now. Uh, I won't fall. Is he knocked out or he ain't dead, is he? Nah, just moves. Oh, okay. I think I was a little freaky. I don't think he did. Is he breathing? Hope I don't know. this weed. I I love how this thing became a weed. Yeah. We ain't friends. No, I gave you my last one. He didn't have much stuff, though. Uh, yeah, he's, not breathing. he's not breathing? Oh. Oh. Fire. Oh. He ain't breathing, bro. We all put on some gloves when he's chest compression. He was fighting and then just gave up. And, uh, I've got her, his mom on the phone and she knows all this stuff. She's what? Well, um, it's okay. Paramedic declares that Tony is medically dead. Still, he asks Corporal Dominguez and Officer Dillard to perform CPR as a last ditch effort to resuscitate Tony. The autopsy revealed that it was a sudden cardiac death due to stress associated with physical restraint. It took another three years for the footage of the incident to be released, following which the Timpa family filed a lawsuit. In September 2023, a jury finally found that Officer Dillard did, in fact, violate Timpa's constitutional rights. Citing qualified immunity, none of the officers were found guilty and they continue to remain employed by the Dallas Police Department. However, $1 million was awarded to Timpa's son in damages. I don't yeah. answer questions. Okay. What part of that do you not understand? Okay. I'm going to see the okay. I've been waiting for this. I watch all these First Amendment videos and this is what I've been waiting for. I got you, motherfucker. Okay. This is George Melendez, a law-abiding citizen from Royce City, Texas. Mr. Melendez got into a verbal spat with another person in a McDonald drive-thru, and this is when that person called cops on him. When the cops got there, Mr. Melendez decided to exercise his rights by not answering questions, and this is when things went south. Tell me what happened. No, you need to talk to him. I don't got nothing to say. Well, that's, that's our job, so we get your I understand story. your job. Okay. Again, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Talk to him. He's the one that called you, not me. So you don't want to tell us what happened gonna, in your I don't side wanna, of the story? I don't have a story to tell. I don't tell stories. Okay. So, so I said go, that you cut him off? I, I did no. not cut nobody off okay. again. Ask him. It's, we're in the drive through at McDonald's. It's not that goddamn serious. So if, carry, I, I mean, carry, if, that's understand. all I'm telling you. I can't and if, if he wants to make a big deal out of nothing, that's on him. I'm not frustrated. Yeah. I don't have a problem. That's why I'm driving away. I didn't. Okay, do you but, have your license on you? Yeah, but you don't need it. Uh, yes, sir, we do. Yeah, no, you don't. we absolutely do, no, sir. No, man. You're involved in investigation. Yes. No, you, got, you got it messed up. You are involved in investigation. Nope, but we go can... investigate. No, you don't. I didn't do nothing. Sir, I didn't commit sir, a crime. You're absolutely. Negative. Yes, absolutely. That's a negative, man. You're not going to get Please it. Please don't interfere with the investigation because hey. then we'll have to put you in jail. Jake, been in jail, man. No te bajes. 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 Listen. I'll go to jail because you're going to violate my rights. I beg you are. My first and my fourth amendment rights. Hold you understand? Listen, listen, listen. Because he's trying to take me to jail upset. over not identifying no, myself. Yes, Are you, because your, your body cam's on? Absolutely, yes. absolutely. I don't see the red light on yours. Is it on? Yes, sir, it's on. So okay. listen, Make listen. sure you got it, because I, I, will, I will sue the Let you. me explain to I will sue the you guys. You there is no crime committed. Are you going to let me There is no crime committed. No, because there's no crime committed. You understand? I don't need to give you my ID. I didn't do nothing. There's no crime committed. Yep, no problem, George. No problem. 
Really? Yep. We're gonna, Are we're you gonna serious? Sue him. Just don't stop recording. We're we're gonna gonna get the reason for why he's we're being arrested. We're gonna sue him. We're gonna sue him. I need your supervisor. 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 Don't stop recording. Hey, it's gonna be tight. Can you get your arms a little bit closer? I can. Okay. Here. Can you get the supervisor right here? Don't stop recording. Yes, ma'am. You might let my right. I'm gonna sue. No, we just, What's we, your name and badge? No, sir. There's no we, crime committed. We just need the... We so just is, need it, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is, 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 is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? I don't listen, care. There's listen, no investigation. Listen, the investigation listen, starts listen. there. Right. And okay. Okay. What's your name and badge number for the, for the record? Hey, it's Officer Carmen 757. Yours? Officer Bailey 727. Thank you. No, I'm not. Okay. I, want, I want your supervisor. I don't want to say a damn word to you guys. Okay. And I'm going to sue the shit out of the city of Boy City. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. Is it, it's a, it, and I don't, I don't contest, I don't uh, search and seizures, okay? So remember okay. that for the record. Okay. I'm you have shit you? I've been you waiting for this. I don't answer questions. Okay. You don't have anything on I don't answer questions. questions. I don't county. answer questions. Okay. What part of that do you not understand? Okay. Well, you're not I'm going to sue the shit out of you guys. I've been waiting for this. I watch all these First Amendment videos, and this is what I've been waiting for. I got you, motherfucker. Okay. You got to leave. I don't got to do shit. Go investigate. You don't need a license for what? Identify you as well, you don't need to identify me for I didn't do nothing. That's not a crime. We don't know that. Sir. No, there's no crime. As the sergeant arrives there, both officers explain to him what's going on. The sergeant immediately orders the officers to release Mr. Melendez. I need an incident number and I need everybody's names here. Absolutely. Yes, sir. So why am, why am I in handcuffs? Over here, please, for the record. It's, why it's am I in handcuffs? You're being detained for investigation. Okay, but you don't detain people in the handcuffs. So. Okay, because Karen over there called you guys. I heard him see if he's got warrants. I, I, I avoided him, okay? This is not the answer. And then this guy right here, Mr. Bailey, demanding my ID for no crime. Investigation starts there. He would have told you the story, that there was no crime committed. Why is he leaving? Right? He's so aggressive. Why is he in handcuffs? Okay. Okay. No, you don't. So not not physically. So not physically, not like this. Okay, I'm going to put you in handcuffs of what you did to me. You argue. violated my rights. It's not arguing. I'm not argue. Shut the f up and get okay. in your car. You're I'm dismissed. Uh, get me out of these f handcuffs. Sir, get me out of these handcuffs, please. Okay. This is not, this is not, this is not right. Okay. I did nothing wrong. It was an argument. That's it. Why did he leave? What's your person? Uh, you don't what need to know that. Like to you call? Good citizen. Okay. Good citizen. Yes, sir. So here's the deal. There's um, no deal. Just explain to me, please. Get me out of these handcuffs. Okay. I don't want to be in handcuffs. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to... Get crazy with me I'm not getting crazy, sir. Yeah, hello. I don't get crazy. I don't, I don't get crazy. I don't get crazy. This is crazy. What you did, you guys did to me. Look at in front of the whole world, in front of my family. You want me to do that to you guys? Stupid, man. Stupid, not professional people, man. What are you guys dealing with, man? And I need an incident number, please. And everybody's name that was involved, even that man, because I'm you suing his ass too everything. for calling you guys. Look at that. Look at that. You guys recording that? Mm hmm. Animals, I'm going to put you in torture cuffs. I need the incident number. Here you go. Stupid. You're and you leave before I leave. I'll send it off. Yeah, you got to dismiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Get better at your jobs. You're good. You can get out of here. Right. If somebody doesn't give you ID, doesn't mean you put them in tank cuffs. Well, yeah, you go. So. Melendez dismisses the tyrant cops who had put him in handcuffs for no reason. The sergeant also apologizes and explains to Melendez that the female officer is unaware of the laws and Melendez is actually correct that refusal to ID is not a crime. You need anything for me? No, sir. I thank you for being professional to okay. stupid ass or something. All right. I, and, and, and it's no disrespect to you. Okay. But when they come, they got to do an investigation. Be put, they, look, look what they did. Look so, what they did to me. So on but the, they don't need to do that, I sir. I, I, you understand? I already, so I'm just letting you know right now, for the record, I'm suing you guys for what they did to me. Okay. I'm suing the city. I'm getting a lawyer. I've been watching all these videos of, of this kind of stuff here, and, and it was just videos. Now I've been involved in it. This changes the narrative for me personally, okay. all right? Because I know my rights. It, she just violated my Fourth Amendment right. Okay. Okay? Whether you believe it or not. What? You I have get, to follow the law. Sure, there, there, sure. That was feelings That was feelings enforcement there, not law enforcement. Okay. You understand me? I, I There's no disrespect to you or nobody else, but that's feelings enforcement. Okay. Because I don't give you my ID. I don't have to give you my ID. I didn't commit no crime. Okay. That's why I asked her, is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Go investigate with him and then determine sure. what happened, just like you just did, right? 
If they would have done that, we wouldn't be in this situation. So you guys just opened this kind of worms for the city of Royce City. Because you're going to put money in my pocket. I, I didn't want to do but you guys did this over a stupid ass drive through at a McDonald's. But I don't want to waste your time. And I appreciate it. You Thank have any you. Any other questions? No, you? sir. I, I got what I need right here. Actually, I need their, their numbers. I mean, their names, and their right badge here. numbers. Please. You mind if I ride on no, your sir, car? No, sir. Go ahead. I already, I'm going to have a further discussion with him back at the PD about what the law is. I know the female officer, she just came over from Oklahoma. She has not had the legislative update in Texas yet. Okay. Uh, typically what we do is try to speak with both parties at the same time. You are 100% right on it is not a crime to not identify yourself if you are just being detained. If you are lawfully under arrest, then you do. It is unclear if Mr. Melendez filed a lawsuit or official complaint against the two officers. But one thing is for sure, he stood up for his rights when it mattered the most. His education from First Amendment audit videos did turn out good for him at the end. But if you think this officer got into trouble because of his idiocy, wait till you find out about Officer Shaoni. Watch him butcher his career all in a couple of minutes. I am going into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going Because you're work? going 80 and a 45. I am going into work. This is Officer Shawnee from the Orlando Police Department who was pulled over on June 6, 2023 by Deputy Hill. Deputy Hill had to chase down Officer Shawnee before finally pulling him over after he caught Officer Shawnee going 80 in a 45 miles per hour zone down Florida Avenue. Copy down that bumper. This one or this Yeah, one one zero seven zero. Pull over. You going to pull over? Please say a command. Pull over. You can already tell from Officer Shauni demeanor that he doesn't expect to be held accountable for his actions. Three one thirteen to three thirteen. What? Do you... I am going right, into I... work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I am going? Because you're going work? eighty and a forty-five. I am going into work. Okay, where are you going? What does to it work look for? like I am dressed for? I have what no... does it look like I am dressed for? My name is Deputy Hilton, and they see your driver's license. No. Okay. Three one thirteen. Copy at ten fifty. Ten four. I got a city uh, Orlando PD taken off from a traffic stop. Uh, it's gonna be. Refuse to stop. Officer Shauni seems to think that just because he's a police officer with a poor excuse like he's going into work, it's all right to disrespect the law and storm off from a traffic stop. Thankfully, the Orlando PD doesn't agree and has since relieved Officer Shauni from his duties, and he has been criminally charged with resisting an officer, reckless driving, as well as fleeing and eluding a law enforcement officer. If you think this officer was inhumane, wait till you find out about Officer Hope who crippled an elderly dementia patient and then had the nerve to laugh about it. These are Officer Austin Hopp and Officer Daria Jalali. On June 26, 2020, a Walmart employee called 911 on 73-year-old dementia patient Karen Garner. Miss Garner had walked out of the store with items worth $13.88 without paying for them. When she was stopped at the exit by the employee, she offered to pay for the items, but the employees refused and called the police. This footage from inside the Loveland Police Department shows officers ridiculing her. I'm a little worried that it's like seeing how it does.
Officer Hop also did not read Miss Garner her Miranda rights. As this footage shows, he and Officer Jalali were more concerned about hogtying the elderly woman and hurling her in the back of the police car like an animal. Get your feet in the car. All right. Yeah, let me see your feet. Let's, uh, get my butt. Right. let's get her out over here on the ground and we can hobble her. And then we'll get her in the car. On the ground. On the ground. On the ground. Stop feeling that. <sighs> Back in the office, banter continues around Miss Garner's arrest. Stupid question, but I gotta ask, do you read her Miranda? During the arrest, Karen sustained a fracture of her left arm, dislocated her shoulder, and sprained her wrist. Watch Officer Hop's heartless remarks and how Officer Jalali's only concern being that it might turn into something. While officers were struggling to arrest Miss Garner, a citizen had stopped by to express concern about how they were treating the old lady. What are you doing? Get out of here. This is not your business. Come on. Get in. There you go. What's that? Where's your sergeant? Who's my sergeant? Yeah. Okay, well, first, I can tell you that. Sergeant Metzler, he's at the police department. You can uh -huh. go talk to him if you have an issue. Yeah, give me your car so I can put a report. Okay. I see you say there how you throw that little kid. Little kid? Well, I don't know. He's not a little a kid. kid. And this he, is was, what he was just walking, and uh -huh. I see you how so you, you grab him. Stole from Walmart and refused to stop, refused to listen to lawful orders, and to fight me. This is what happens when you fight the police. For viewers who don't know, a blue team report is a report filed by the police department if there are circumstances involving excessive use of force. Okay. 
In a vulgar display of callousness, the three officers huddle together to watch the body cam footage of the arrest and laugh about it. Officer Jalali goes to check on Miss Garner and tells the others that she is in severe pain. Karen Garner and her family filed a lawsuit against the three officers involved. Officer Hopp pleaded guilty to second-degree assault and was sentenced to five years in prison. Officer Jalali was sentenced to 45 days in jail and three years of probation after pleading guilty to failing to intervene, a misdemeanor. The city also had to pay $3 million to the victim for an out-of-court settlement. But if you think this officer was an idiot cop who got busted, wait till you find out about Officer Garcis, who gets caught about as red-handed as you can. What happened? Uh, one of you goes, oh, okay. huh? Motor vehicle stop. It's not motor vehicle stop. You weren't driving. This is Officer Mauricio Garces with the Union City Police Department. Officer Garces was found asleep in his vehicle in the middle of the street by Secaucus PD officers with no clue of what was going on. Hey, how you doing? Secaucus Police. Put your car in park. Put your car in park. Hey. Yo! Put your car in park! Put it in park! Put the gear in park! Put the gear in park! Perfect! How you feeling? Okay, see you, August Police, okay. Officer Gonzalez, be recording my body cam, okay? Hey, what happened? We're home, man. That's it. Uh huh. Home. You know where you are? Yeah, home. Where are you? By Hogan. 
Yeah. You where? Yeah, by Hogan. By Hogan? By Hogan. By Hoboken? You know what town you're in? Yeah, Hoboken. You know, you're not in Hoboken. We're home. Where's home? Hey, two blocks away. I live in uh, Seacaucus. You live in Seacaucus? Yes, where in Seacaucus do you live? In a black away. Black away? Yes, Can sir. you roll out the window a little bit more? Okay, you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir. What happened? I went home, is it? No, you understand what's going on, though? You understand why I'm here talking yeah, to you? Of course, brother. What happened? Uh, I want a vehicle stop. Huh? Motor vehicle stop. It's not a motor vehicle stop. You weren't driving. You got it, brother. I'm going straight home. You going straight home? Where you coming from? Uh, Union City. You coming from Union City? Yes, sir. What were you doing? Uh, doing straight home. You were just driving straight home? Yes, sir. Do you understand why why I'm talking to you though right now? Do you understand yes, what sir. happened? What happened right now? I'm gonna straight line. I said I was um, going home. Huh? Straight home. That's it. You know, straight home. That's yes, it. Sir, brother. Yeah, but but you didn't answer my question. Uh, you weren't driving your car, okay? I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you understand what you were doing? Yes, I was stopped. I didn't go home straight home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, sir. So sorry, I must... No, you didn't say any of that. Okay, I just woke you up right now. Yes, sir. I went straight home. That's it. Okay, you're, you're repeating yourself. All right. Apart from that fact that Officer Grace's was found asleep literally in the middle of the road, it's quite obvious that he is intoxicated as seen by his mumbling and failure to comprehend the officer's question. I, 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 two blocks away, that's it. Two blocks away or anything? Yes, sir. All right. It, 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 it okay. You, you, your speech is a little slurred. Okay. Did you drink anything? I had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car for me. Your car, leave your car and park, right? Just step out of the car. We're gonna go over right here in the sidewalk. Come in the sidewalk. How much did you have to drink tonight? 39, I'll be out there. A couple. A couple? What's a couple? Yeah. About how much? Yeah, two. Okay. Why are you looking away from me? I'm talking to you. Right. Look, yes, sir. Okay. Look towards me. Okay. What's a couple? Uh, like two. Like two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Officer Garces claims that he's only had two drinks, but it's apparent from his behavior that he's had a lot more. What's a couple of drinks? Like two. About two? Yeah. All right. Um, you think he has any pocket for me? I'm sorry. I'm asking you for anything at the time, okay? No. What are you doing? Have you? Sorry, I guess uh, you've done this already in the past. You have? Yeah, I do work for, for University PD. What's that? I do work for University PD. I I never asked you that. I know. Why would you bring it up? I'm just telling you. Okay. But what that what does that have to do with uh, you being checked like this before? Nothing. I guess you want me to take some type of preference or something that you mentioned that? No. Like I said, you're being recorded right now also, okay? I don't know about that. I don't. Okay. I mean, All right, do me a favor. Take your head off. You're doing your job. Take your head off. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay? You have any medical conditions? You wear glasses? No. Contacts? You have a glass eye? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay? Look, look at me. Look at my pen, okay? All right? And you just follow my pen without moving your head, all right? Just your eyes, okay? At this point, the field sobriety tests are just a formality. Officer Garces is unable to make sense of even his own answers and is making a fool of himself. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, just turn around for me and then just put your arms back like this. All right, turn around real quick and just put your arms out like that. Do that for me? Is that right? Okay, that's fine. All right. Put your hands together like this. Put your hands together. Okay, you're being arrested right now for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? 
By the end of the stop, Officer Garces was in just enough of his senses to make out that he was getting arrested and was gonna be in big trouble. It's commendable that the officer from Secaucus PD followed procedure professionally, even though Officer Garces was clearly hammered and even calls him out for mentioning he's an officer with the Union City PD as it has nothing to do with the stop. Just when you think you have seen it all, these remarks of Officer Otterer show that some cops do not even have an iota of humanity left in them. Yeah, just write a check. Just... Yeah, <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. This is Officer Daniel Otterer of the Seattle Police Department. On January 23rd, 2023, Officer Otterer was responding to the scene of death of 23-year-old master's student Janavi Kandula, who was killed after being struck by a police cruiser. Officer Daniel Otterer, who was responding to the scene, can be seen talking to a fellow officer on the phone. His insensitive and heartless comments about the deceased young woman left everyone shocked. Yeah, I mean, he's going 50. That's not out of control. That's not reckless for a train driver. Yeah, lights and sirens. Yeah. I don't think she was thrown 40 feet either. Uh, I think she went up on the hood, hit the windshield, then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> No, it's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah, just write a check. Just... Yeah, <laughs> $11,000. She was 26 anyway. She had limited value. As soon as Officer Otterer realizes that his body cam is on, he panics and shuts it off. The footage from Officer Kevin Kane, who was driving the SUV that hit Kandula, shows that he was actually going 74 miles per hour and had no sirens on when he hit Kandula as she walked across the crosswalk. <laughs> Officer Otterer came under fire as soon as his crass remarks caught the public eye. According to the Seattle PD, he was immediately transferred to a non-operational position pending further investigation, but no other action was taken against him. I'm just here to quietly exercise my rights and not be impeded okay. and not be detained. We good? We're, we're power to you. Awesome. Yeah. This is Lieutenant Beckmer, a police officer with Burlington PD, a First Amendment auditor who goes by the name of Free Press NC on YouTube, posted his encounter when he was asked to stop filming by a tyrant cop, Sergeant Marsh. Watch how the lieutenant protects this citizen from the rowdy cops. Tires are mostly in good shape. Can't tell entirely, but they're, generally speaking, they seem to be good tires. Hi. Where are you going? Just checking out my employees. What's up? What's your name, badge number? Delgado. Delgado, you have a badge number? I don't. Okay. What's your name? Uh, I'm not gonna give that. So what are you doing? Just checking on, checking on the uh, Burlington employees and seeing if you guys are doing a great job. About if you're keeping, the, yeah. The cars. Yeah, I want to make sure you're keeping the officers safe with like good tires and you're not leaving out passwords to NCIC. What's that? You said I need to. Yes, sir. You're actually trespassing unless you actually have something. You want you want me to or I need to? Here. This is only police personnel only. Yeah, you said I need to, so I was asking, do, do you want me to come talk to or do I have to? Am I being detained? Yes, sir. At this point, yes, sir. Okay, for suspicion of what crime? Okay, you're walking around taking pictures of police cars and so forth. You're, you're not, you don't have any business here. Is that the illegal? Is that illegal? It's only police be police back here. And your name, badge number? I don't have a badge number. Sergeant Marsh. Sergeant Marsh. Okay. So you said I'm detained, and I said suspicion of what crime? What are you doing back here? Suspicion of what crime? What's I'm your rash? You need to leave, sir. What crime have I committed? You need to leave. If you'd like to stand on the sidewalk and do He told me I have to doing. come here and I'm detained. No, I so didn't say that. I didn't say that. You said we need you to come here and you said I'm detained. To you. So I need to talk to you. If you want to go over there take on the sidewalk, take pictures, you're more than welcome, but you can't be back here. So the sign that says public entrance is not a public entrance? If you have if you have public if you have business here. Yeah. Do you have business here? 
Am I required to answer that question? Okay, sir, at this point, you're being asked if you want to go over and take pictures. I know I'm being asked because you don't want to infringe on my rights, which is why you've not ordered me to, but you still have me detained. Okay. Are you going to undetain me or am I still detained? You're not detained. Okay. You're more than free, but you can do what you want. I can do what I want. Thanks. It's a public. Sir, you can go on the sidewalk and take pictures. You have to you stay on the sidewalk. Here. Where's the sign that says it's authorized personnel only? There's actually a sign in here that says public parking right here. Sergeant Marsh is totally in the wrong here. A police department, being a public building, must be accessible to the general public. As long a member of the public is not filming in a restricted area, there is no law that restricts this First Amendment protected activity. You tell me I'm detained in a public parking lot with no signs, that's bull crap, back off. Sir, sir you need to understand. I don't need to do crap. You detain me for nothing. Sir, you need to leave the parking lot. This is Give me your supervisor. I am the supervisor. Give me your supervisor, the LT. This is bull crap. Adam, one of the Notice I'm not talking to either of you guys oh, this yeah. way. I'm not, I'm not talking to either of you guys this way. I'm talking to him this way. I understand. You have no signs that say no trespassing and it freaking says public entrance. You cannot detain me for videotaping. I didn't well, detain you. Why were you all in that car? I wasn't in a car. You, you if, you fi if you find I evidence of me being in a car, car, then bring me in and Raz and detain me and we'll talk. And that's why we... That's why we start speaking with you because of that. Because you're you can't detain me to figure out if I committed yes, a crime. You're a freaking sergeant. Yes, yes, sir. We can. No, you cannot. Up until this point, Sergeant Marsh or any of the other officers have not articulated the crime they are suspecting this citizen of. In the absence of a reasonable articulable suspicion, law enforcement officers cannot subject individuals to detainment or any searches or seizures. What was the RAS? Reasonable articulable suspicion. If you're looking at vehicles possibly breaking into a vehicle. I did you suspect me of breaking into a vehicle? I did. Yes. The, the, the I asked him what he suspected me of, and he said filming. So I seen you, and I called my sergeant. And I was, that's, how, See, that's why I got But out. that's what you need to articulate. You didn't do that until now. He was telling me that I was suspicious because I was filming around vehicles. But he doesn't get to detain me because I'm filming. I don't care how suspicious it looks. You will not get my name. I am not trespassing and I will not leave. You know, if you guys have signs up that says this is a trespassed area, authorized personnel only, you got gates up, of course I can't come in. Well, usually- He's making up laws. Like I was saying, usually it is. We only allow police cars and people back here, but due to the front lobby, people do come, public citizens. Right. They do come back Which here. is why I'm here. Yeah, I understand. Try to be as reserved as I can. That you were like, hit, like <laughs> looking all in the car. Okay. You told me that you have Raz that I was breaking and entering or p potentially committing a crime. Therefore, I'm not answering any of your questions. Am I being detained by you? No. Okay, thank you. Officer Delgado and Sergeant Marsh finally articulate a crime, but this is the first time that they have done so far. It is articulable, but definitely not a reasonable suspicion. While the other two officers have been relatively civil with this citizen, Sergeant Marsh is following his own tyrant code and not the law he has sworn to uphold. Probably a court's not gonna care about a five minute detention, which is why there probably won't be anything from this, unless you keep escalating. I'm not escalating anything, you are. You did. Here's, here's our lieutenant. Fantastic. What's going on, man? Howdy. How are you? I am, I was doing pretty good. Okay. Tell him at the sergeant. These two folks are incredibly professional. Good enough. He hasn't escalated a single thing. She said she had razzed me breaking into a freaking car. She was very polite at first. Once he escalated, she jumped on the bandwagon. But generally, they've been good. Okay. He is a train wreck. How you just treated me was a train wreck. I should say that. I don't know you, Sergeant Marsh, so I shouldn't have said that. I apologize. All right. Basically, I was told by Officer uh, Delgado that he was actually looking at vehicles, possibly breaking into cars. That's why he's he didn't tell me that. He didn't say that's his Raz. I said, you got Raz, detain me. And he said, you were filming, walking around cars, so. Let, let's go and remove him from the situation, okay. right? All right. Okay, so <laughs> moving forward, how, how can we do something for you here? You can, you Allow can me to go on the back lot. Thank you. Know you. I mean? If you need paperwork, tell me what you need. We'll right. try to get it for you. They're going to close pretty soon. Understood, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm good to go. Right. I'm just here to quietly exercise my rights and not be impeded okay. and not be detained. We good? We're, we're power to you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Take care. Safe. Peace. Go, Keep it up, bro. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Beckmer was incredibly professional, and his attitude was in a stark contrast with Sergeant Marsh's. Sergeant Marsh can definitely learn a thing or two from his lieutenant. Cops should respect citizen rights and should focus on conflict resolution instead of being hostile towards the taxpayers. It is comforting to know that there are people out there who refuse to submit to the egoistic power trips of dirty cops, but it does leave one wondering about the poor quality of officer training and illiteracy among officers about citizen rights. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe.
Goodbye.